In today's world, stainless steel is used in all aspects of our lives. In fact, we rarely realize how many different devices we use daily. Stainless steel is resistant to acids, bases and water and remains a material that has a high resistance to corrosion and chemicals. To show you how our stainless steel products are made, we are visiting the Krakow company ATT. You can find drainage products used to remove water and sewage that are used in various processing and commercial industries. Some additional products ATT offers include drainage and linear systems, manhole covers, maintenance passages or buffering tiles. Ready? Let's go! Everything starts in the engineering department where engineers prepare designs for products ordered by customers. These designs can be small or large depending on the scale of the project. The first device used at the production department is a laser cutter. The laser cutter shapes all elements manufactured at the factory. Next, a stainless steel sheet is collected from the buffer warehouse. Here we can see how handles for manhole covers are cut out of an 8mm thick sheet of steel. Then they are deburred to remove all irregularities. Manhole covers of this type ensure fast and easy access to rooms, service areas and special devices. Manhole cover's main objective is to remain tight to prevent penetration of water from the flooring. Speaking of water, as mentioned above, ATT manufactures drainage systems, including linear systems, which consists of channels of various shapes and inlets that allow for draining. ATT also offers point drains. Let's discuss how the drainage systems work. The inlet is a part of the channels collecting water, liquid waste and wastewater from the floor and discharging it into a sewage system or other receptacle as needed. It consists of a body, a trap with a seal, a waste bucket and a grate. The drain body is made with special grooves which allows installation of the trap inside it. The drains can come in different sizes and shapes based on the project's needs. Now let's take a look at how the upper part of the inlet in the drain is joined to the body by orbital welding. The waste basket which collects the debris is perforated on a turret punch. The perforation allows for the water and liquid waste to pass through while collecting the debris to be disposed of. The drainage channel itself is a trough that drains waste water, water and liquid waste into a sewage system or other receptacle. Here we see how the drainage channel shape is formed. It is formed on a bending break using components that were cut out earlier. Meanwhile, elements forming a wider part of the channel are pressed using a hydraulic press. Finally, the parts are welded together to form the entire channel. Rubber seals were cut out earlier on a plotter and are used to ensure tight connections between individual parts. Next up is smoking and stuffing trolleys. Would you like to see how they are manufactured? First, a robot joins the trolley's sidewalls with automated welding. Next, the bottom is appropriately calibrated and fitted into the sidewalls. The trolleys are all manufactured by robot at ATT unless customization is needed from the client and or specific project. Finally, it is time for surface granting followed by factory cosmetic treatment. Cosmetic treatment consists of the joints being chemically etched and the passive layer is added onto the steel. Products manufactured at the plant are grit blasted. The grit blasting facilitates the product's maintenance and cleaning and gives them an aesthetic appearance. Work worth a medal and a stainless steel one at that.